guys welcome back again and today we want to take another we want to take a different part and try to break the monotony so today we are going to do network analysis we want to prepare a network diagram as we know the network diagram it helps us to determine the optimum sequence of events how they happen and then how they also how the events connect with one one another the interconnectivity of the events so this arrow network diagram that we are going to cal to draw is also going to help us to determine the the critical part so it's used for scheduling of the activities the way they happen now we have our table here we have the activities and then we have the the duration so we have activity one to two it has 12 weeks activity two to three is 14 weeks activity two to four is 10 weeks activity three to five is eight weeks activity four to five is six weeks activity five to six is four weeks now let's draw the the arrow network diagram first and then from there we can be able to calculate the the critical the critical part remember the critical part is the is the part that is the longest part that that the activities will will take so we are going to start with activity one so we are moving from activity one to two so we draw a circle and then it's going to with the node so this is activity one so this is 12 weeks going to activity two don't mind my circles i'm using a pen i'm using a pen and then it also has a nod to activity so from activity two we are going to activity four so this one is we are going to activity four and then again from activity two we are also going to sorry this is activity three we are going to activity three and then from activity two we are also going to activity four and then from activity four from activity three, we are going to activity five, and then from activity four, we are going to activity five. So activity three and activity four, they are meeting at activity, at activity five. So that way. So activity two to three is 14 weeks. Two to four is 10 weeks. Three to five is eight weeks four to five is six weeks and then five to six is is four four weeks so that is how our critical part looks like so now let's find the the critical so now sorry that is how the arrow diagram network looks like now let's find the critical part so the first activity starts at zero zero so let's find the earliest earliest estimated time so zero plus 12 gives us 12 12 plus 14 gives us 20 26 26 plus 8 okay let's go back here 12 plus 10 gives us 22 and then 22 plus 6 is 28 and then 26 plus 8 is 30 34 so we take the the bigger one that is 34 and then 34 plus 4 that is that 8 so here we'll have that 8 so let's move for the backward pass so we are going 
backwards for us to be able to get to the to now we are going backwards so that 8 that 8 minus 4 that gives us 34 34 minus 8 gives us 26 26 26 minus 14 gives us gives us 12 and then this one is 34 minus 34 minus 6 gives us 28 28 so that up to that point so the critical part will be this part here that is our our critical part now we are going to list down the critical part the part that we are going to follow so we are going to follow that part so we have one to two one to two and then we have two two three uh -huh. And then we have 3 to 5, and then we have 5 to, to 4. So 1 to 2, we have 12 weeks. 2 to 3, we had 14 weeks. Then 3 to 5, 3 to 5, we have 8 weeks. And then 5 to 6, sorry, this is 6. 5 to 6, we have 4, 4 weeks. So our project duration will be 12 plus 14. That is 26 plus 8, that is 4, 3, and then plus 4, that is 30, 38. So that is what we have. So the critical part, so we just, we just say down here. The critical part is 1 1 to 2 comma 2 to 2 to 3 and then 5 to 3 to 5 and then 5 to to 6 so that is the critical part and then project duration Project duration is 38, 38 weeks. So guys, that is how we do the, the critical part and that is how we draw the, the arrow network, the arrow network diagram. So thank you guys for your time.